All right, we're doing another giveaway contest here on the Patreon page. First of all, if you're new to the page, thank you for joining. And if you're a longtime supporter, I really appreciate you. There's a free download pinned on the page of all my speaker cabs, a bunch of drum beats that I put together that you can make music to and jam along to. But today, we're going to be doing a giveaway contest for the FTW120 pedal. So the way you enter is just drop a comment below and let me know a concert story, like one of your favorite concerts or some story from a concert you've been to. So let's check out the pedal. This is a new FTW 120 in like a orange wrinkle finish. This is single knob distortion pedal i based it off of the output section of the orange or 120 pedal and it's got a cool little dude on it that has my guitar and a couple fuzz lord amps so if you want to enter the contest drop a comment below just give me your favorite concert story and i'm going to pick one winner uh with my favorite concert story so the other thing i'm doing that we're all doing is everyone that enters the giveaway I'm gonna send out one of these new born to riff IOMI stickers holographic sticker I had a lot of fun making these they're based off of this classic meme that like floats around out there if you're familiar with it uh, hopefully you get a kick out of it so I'll get a hold of everybody that enters and get your address and send one of these in snail mail. So I just went to the OC's concert this weekend for my 38th birthday. And it was wild. I've been listening to the OC's since I was in my early 20s. And John Dwyer, the guitar player, is a phenomenal performer and musician and singer. So the coolest thing about that concert was that they had two drummers pushed up to the front of the stage playing in unison the whole time, which was really impressive to see. So today in this video, we're gonna check out a couple records together. I thought that'd be fun to do here more regularly on Patreon. That way it's like kind of a monthly hangout, uh, check out some records from my little collection. And of course do the giveaways and stuff. So drop that comment below. We're going to start off with a new record I just picked up. This is the newest The Hives album. Uh, they're kind of that whole rock and roll revival vibe. They were real popular and the White Stripes were coming out. If you've ever seen them, I'm curious to know what the concert was like because their videos look wild. So let's put on a song. Going to listen to it through uh, the record player. And... While that's playing, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee.
out the newest Hives album. Uh, I really did that rock and roll revival type of sound. Really cool high energy band. So let me think of another fun concert that I've been to while we check out this next record. Uh, earlier this year, my buddy Brett got tickets to see, oh geez, it was a big show. We went up to see uh, Obituary, Cannibal Corpse, and Amon Amarth all at the same show. And it was a wild show. It was at the Portland Moda Center. So I think they have basketball games there. We were kind of up in the second level in the seating. And it was pretty wild seeing the show from that far away and just seeing this like swarm of kids in the circle pit for the whole show. Obituary was really good. Cannibal Corpse was incredibly good. Really high energy. It was really cool seeing George Corpse Grinder do his head shaking on stage. And then uh, Amon Amarth wasn't like one of my favorite bands or anything before the show, but their stage presence and the overall show was amazing. So they had these like blow up, like kind of like those like wavy wiggly dudes that are at car lots and stuff. They had those kind of things, but there were dragons, uh, some big Viking statue thing, and they changed out the decorations three times throughout the show. So they played three or four songs, they hit the lights, and I was like, damn, is the show over already? Uh, and then I saw the dragons like deflate, or as the Viking ones first. And then I was like, shit, like that was an awesome show, but it was kind of short. And then instantly the stagehands like pumped up the new ones. And it was probably like, I don't know, like two to three minutes at most. And then they came back on with a new set behind them, like new like decorations and stuff. And that was just one of the coolest overall concerts I've ever been to. And how tight they were as musicians was like truly impressive. Uh, let's check out a record I haven't listened to in a while. This is, this is, make sure I get it right, Warrior Queen, uh, the album by High and Heavy. Maybe you've checked them out before. I'm curious to know if you've heard them. I'm not sure if they're actively a band right now, but this was another band that had a really cool stage performance. The singer dude wore this big wizard outfit. Uh, full cloak and then he had like a staff that his microphone was connected to and they also had really cool artwork so let's check out a song from high and heavy I believe they use a fuzzler pedal I forget which one it is that is just such a cool photo on the front of that album all right let's check out a song from high and heavy off the album warrior queen
So that was Grown Tired by High and Heavy. He's got a killer singing voice and the guitar solos and the whole tone was really good sounding. So another one of my favorite concerts that I've been to is uh, was actually an organ concert, like a pipe organ concert. Here in Eugene, Oregon, where I live every year, they do a Bach festival. So the concert was actually held at a Lutheran church. It wasn't the kind of thing I usually go to, but my mom grabbed me some tickets. And I got there, and it was like really pretty uh, stained glass windows lining both sides of the of the inside of the church and I got there on time but like not as early as everyone else so I sat in the back and then I saw on stage there was just like nothing on the stage I was like huh I wonder how this is gonna go down and then the concert started and I just felt this big vibration like through like the pews in the whole building. It was completely full, old school church pews, the wooden ones. And um, I realized that it was a pipe organ and the whole pipe organ was right behind me on the second story and the pipes ran all the way down the back of the church. So it was uh, the first song he played. I this was a fugue in D minor or something. It's the real like spooky one. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that was a really memorable experience, and everyone was just like silent the whole show, uh, the whole performance, and definitely one of my top concerts I've been to. So, let's contrast that with Fuzz. This is Ty Siegel's newer band. Uh, well, it was new quite a few years ago at this point. F Ty Siegel is like a garage rock musician that has been playing for the last, oh, almost 20 years, I think. And he's kind of been on side quest mode making amazing albums. This is, uh, this is Fuzz 2. 2 is the name of the album. This is basically Black Sabbath worship uh, at its finest. Um, so let's check out a song off of this one. If you haven't checked out Fuzz, you should definitely check them out.
All right, that was Fuzz. So we're gonna listen to one more song in this month's little record hang. Be sure that you drop a comment below and give me your favorite concert story. And the end of this month, I'm gonna pick one winner for the pedal and then also ship out everybody who enters one of these cool holographic uh, IOMI stickers. So the last song we're gonna listen to today is from the OCs. I got this at the show that I just went to in Portland at the Crystal Ballroom. Really cool band. If you're into like psychedelic rock uh, and old school punk, you'll definitely dig the OCs. I got this record. Um, I didn't know that this was even an album, but I guess what it is, is John Dwyer of the OCs put together like a more experimental and chill laid back album. So we're gonna wrap it up with this one. Hope you enjoy it. I'll check out everyone's concert stories in the comments and I look forward to sending everybody out a sticker and picking a winner for the FTW 120 pedal. Again, thank you for being part of the Patreon page. We're gonna wrap it up with an OC song.